Good morning, my Leos. Happy fire sign day. Let's do your reading. I have Wheel of Fortune reverse for the main deck. I have Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. So I have a Queen of Wands reverse and a Death reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. What's below the Queen of Wands reverse? That's Aries, by the way. Ace of Cups reverse and the World reverse. And then you got the Death reverse the Four Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles upright, which is Capricorn. A lot of Queen energy, a lot of Queen energy. Death Reverse, and then the Four Swords. It's, you know, you know what it feels like? Ace of Cups Reverse, Queen of Wands Reverse, the World Reverse, what's below that? And the King of Cups Reverse. It feels like, and this is just pre-energy, but it feels like somebody doesn't know what to do once they have you, energy. Because then we have a death reverse going on next to that Queen of Wands reverse. And it's, uh, it's, it's, that's what it feels like. Like they got you and then, then they didn't know what to do, know what to do with it once they have you. And then you pull yourself away, go for what you really want. And then somebody's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, but you're mine. That's the, it, it's weird, the feeling I'm getting here. Hangman and the judgment reverse. And now somebody else is stuck in limbo here. Watching you move on. Okay, let's see what's going on, Leo. Already a complicated read. We haven't even started yet. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. If you are a Leo, know a Leo. Feel like being a Leo. Leos, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Leo and this resonates. You could be dealing with the Leo. It could resonate is the main story. And Leo could be the cross watcher. This reading could be for a Leo or about a Leo. Take it as it resonates. All right, what is the main message? What a message? What are what's the energy for Leos? What's the energy for Leos? What's the energy for Leos? Eight of Pentacles reverse, Virgo energy. Let's move this down and move things over. Eight of Pentacles reverse. What's influencing the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Nothing working, nothing going on here. Nobody, nobody, uh, at least a Leo is saying, nope, I'm not giving to this. What's influencing the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Wheel of Fortune reverse. Wheel of Fortune reverse can be repeating patterns. Just like the death reverse, the world reverse. A lot of repeating, a lot of chances to be had, but none taken. What's the reason for the reading? What Page of Wands reverse possibly, we'll try to flip. What's the reason for the reading? Okay, something went flying. I have no idea what it is. But look at that, Three of Wands reverse and the Six of Swords wouldn't go back together three of wands reverse aries energy i feel like now leo's like i have my you have your back to someone you're not waiting for them again and six of swords is all of a sudden energetically somebody wants it could be you moving on but i'm getting somebody even this card looks like somebody's trying to come back towards and i feel like you're closing the door on somebody and they're trying to get back in hold on one second let me get this it went under it went in the most obscure obscure places leo you're this card Four cups reverse. You got away from them. This card went in the most obscure place under my chair. I had to move everything around. One second. Four cups reverse. Did you get away from them? How dare you, Leo? Did you get away from them? All right. Four cups reverse. No longer waiting on the proverbial cup. So that's the reason for the reading. It went flying. There we are. Yeah, you have your back to them. Three of wands reverse. Six of swords. Ace of Swords reverse. They're, it's like they're trying to get into a door that you've changed the locks on. You're like, nope, not doing it again. What's in the past? What's in the past? The judgment. Judgment is your eyes are open to this. Your eyes are open that there's, even if this person wanted to try at this point, could you honestly say you're, you, the magic is still here? You're just as in love with them that, than you ever have been? I feel like there's so much damage and so much untrustworthiness and stability going on, a lack of stability. What is on your mind? What is on your mind? The Nine of Pentacles reverse, no, drained. Look at eight and nine of pentacles reverse, which tells me this was something that there was a lot of time invested, but very little gains from it. And you have nothing left to invest in this. What's in the near future? So you are slipping away here. Four cups reverse, reason for the reading. What's the near future for Leos? 
and the justice reverse cutting cutting yourself free look at the majors here on the left and the right your eyes are open you know what you need to do and now is the time to do it in justice reverse i get you there was an imbalance going on you're cutting yourself away from this but i also get a queen of swords reverse biting energy on this so this is the part where i feel like this is somebody who feels like you're just theirs and they have a right to come back to you and ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the fool look at this but right below that now we have a two of wands and the death reverse i feel like somebody's trying to pull you back into the cycle and you're finally getting away uh, free from it okay tell me about the eight of pentacles reverse influenced by the wheel of fortune reverse virgo virgo energy there what tell me about the eight of pentacles reverse no more investment to be had no more gains to be i just feel like you really got the short end of the stick here you waited around for somebody to give such a tiny bit of energy to you eight of pentacles reverse why is that and the eight look at the eights eight of wands reverse on an eight of pentacles reverse and you you're you're just pulling out it's it's sad why do you get this person's attention by pulling your attention away that is the only way to get their attention on you other than that i feel like they're they're dealing with other people what's the wheel of fortune in reverse the hermit now this hermit and that judgment feel like they are bffs i feel like your eyes got open to this i think you started to really see this person for who they are and you couldn't unsee it you couldn't unfeel it anymore and the more you were in this introspective feeling for some of you i feel like this is also where you found tarot the star is what was starting to heal you as you were pulling the energy back into yourselves you started to really start focusing on what you want and where you want to be and what kind of person you want to uh, be with and all of this is going on in your adorable little heads and in your souls and that's when you knew you can't do this anymore today's the day it ends and it, it, it's a major arcana right here you have a major and a major and a major and a major going on here and i feel like this was a big this is a big thing for you and once you get into this energy there's no going back there's no revolving door it, it, there's it, there's just no going back what's the four cups reverse reason for the reading what is it yep you i shit you not it's a four of cups reverse and you add that up and you got an eight of cups reverse you have now three eights in reverse i feel unlucky energy going on in chinese um philosophy 888 is very very lucky what i what i'm getting with these reversals here are very unlucky since you were in, been with this energy i feel like you, it's just kind of things You've been in a very maybe stuck place in life and a stuck place emotionally and spiritually and the i just by energetically finally ready to let them go things start to happen for you an old friend started to call plans started falling in place you're going to notice your luck is changing by getting this person and this energy out of your life and all they want to do is pull you into some stuck ass cycle so you can keep giving to them and they can keep running away after they get it what's the judgment in the past the judgment in the past and the lovers wow definitely lovers and the judgment give me another card here and it's interesting because the lovers used to be called the choice now that your eyes are open you're making the choice what you're making the choice in i feel reason for the reading is to finally get away but tell me about the lovers and i also feel like you know what you deserve nine of cups reverse nine of cups reverse is the unhappily ever after card but it's emotionally drained nine of pentacles reverses you don't even have the energy you're energetically drained emotionally drained physically drained therefore justice reverse is getting screwed over the short end of the stick what the when i see cards like this what i feel like is you gave everything you had to this and then they came back in and dangled something for you only to have you give a little bit more but you're like okay i've given 80 percent. i'm not giving you one more percent you have to bring the 20. and so you pull back a little then they come back in and they give you a half a percent only for you to now give you're like 
Okay, you kept pushing the goal line. I'll give you 10 more percent. You got to the point where you had nothing left to give. You were at 100% at this point in, and they didn't even have to do anything. And so I say that 10, and look at the 10 of wands going on here. And what you know you deserve is the real thing. Not the surreal thing. This thing, this, this energy is just surreal. There's nothing real about them. They don't want you to know them. They don't want to give you something that they freely could give you. This nine of cups reverse. They know what they're doing. You gave all your cups away and they're, they're honestly up here with a full set. And they probably have a set from, from um, what is that, like collector cards? That's what I get. Maybe they, they collect collector cards, but I feel like they collect trophies like collector cards. And they, they got different people's trophies. They're not giving this up. It's, it's like wins to them. What you deserve is somebody's only cup. And not somebody who prizes it and keeps it away. This is somebody who's willing to give it. I, that's what I feel like this huge epiphany going on. You're not dealing with a king. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles reverse on your mind. Nine of Pentacles reverse, Virgo energy on Leo's mind. What is that about? And the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Another eight. Eight reverse, eight reverse. The two fours equal an eight and underneath it's an eight reverse. You're not working on it. You're not giving them one more thing. And you're not, what you're not doing is renegotiating your boundaries. Your boundaries are set. You're not renegotiating them. You're done. Justice reverse in the near future. Justice reverse the near future and the king of swords. Queen and king of swords, but we got a queen of swords reverse. So I'm telling you guys, be, this is why I feel like the reading's really happening. You're getting away from a serious narcissist. This Queen of Swords reverse isn't going to like that her, her or his king got away. They know what you were to them, but they wanted, and they knew they were beneath you on an energetic level, on a, maybe a status level. And by keeping you guessing, by keeping you in that surreal place, it, it, it made you overgive something that they were lucky to even get a percentage of. And so with that Queen of Swords reverse, I just feel really biting energy. I feel really shitty energy. So I would say in the next week, I, if you, this resonates, I would not take this person's call because there's nothing good that's gonna come from it. 10 of Cups reverse and a Knight of Pentacles and a 10 of Swords, look at that, two 10s. Ten of Swords is acceptance. Ten of Cups reverse is saying that you're letting this go and you're moving on, Knight of Pentacles. You're taking that 1% of energy somewhere else, planting it in the ground, and you know before long you'll have a Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups somewhere else. But if this person knows you have one piece of energy left, they'll take that too. It, it, there's nothing to be gained from this. This is a very, narciss it's a very narcissistic energy. So good luck to whoever's dealing with this. This is something where... I'm telling you, this person, this is someone who God is saying, you know what, I, I effed up. <laughs> I effed up with this one. I don't even know who to call. Good luck, little humans. I can't help you here. Yeah, they created, they really broke the mold when they created this one because they never wanted to create it again. Good luck with this, Leo. Um, the best thing to do is ignore, honestly. I wouldn't even try to argue with them because all they're going to do is make you feel bad for not giving to them. It could be a parent. It could be a lover. It could be a teacher. It could be a boss. Stand your ground, okay? Don't renegotiate your boundaries. Now is not the time. All right, my dears, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.